like welcome to the channel so today we're going to do or talk about center line gap uh, so it's also called center line perimeter or in the case it's a circular structure it, it you can call it a center line circumference but normally we use gap uh, so gap is the distance measured uh, around an object in this case it's a building and so the center line gap is the average distance measured between the external uh, and internal gap and all meaning that uh, the center line gap it will be the average between the total perimeter or the total gap of the external uh, measurements and the internal measurements of that of that wall and then we divide it by two to get the average so here is an example of a building uh, in this case uh, the dotted line is the center line gap and then the, the inner line is the internal face of the wall and the outer line is the external face of the wall right uh, so here in this in this building uh, at this following dimensions 1000 by 3000 uh, it's a, the external wall is the 230 wall right this one the internal wall is the 105 wall so there are two methods of measuring the center line gap so the total perimeter of the external face of the wall is 16,000 uh, millimeters or 16 meters and then the total perimeter or the total gap of the internal face of the wall it's 14,160 or 14,16 meters. So, method number one. So, method number one, general define, uh, is the one we talked about in the definition up here. So, the center line gap is equals to external perimeter plus uh, internal perimeter all over two. So, calculate our external perimeter and plus what so the external perimeter plus the internal perimeter and then we get 13 or oh, mm, 30,160 divided by what by 2 since we want to find the average so center line gap uh, is 15,008 so uh, this method is generally not used so much uh, the second method here is the takeoff method, but in, in maybe in cases where you might not be sure about your answer, you can use this method to verify if your answer is correct. So, this is the takeoff method. Well, I just simplified, I'll show you the takeoff, uh, how it's put in the takeoff. Well, in method number two, center line gap is supposed to external perimeter. Uh, Detect, detecting what 4 by 2 by half by 230 which is 920 so it's external perimeter minus 920 well this 4 is the number of corners of the building in this case in this building we have 4 corners and then 2 is a constant half is a constant and then 230 is the size of what of the wall uh, so since our external all is 230 and then and then we say 16,000 minus 920 we get at the same answer is about 15,008 okay so in the here we're calculating using the external perimeter so if you want to use the internal perimeter or in a case where you are all, it's only possible to calculate using the internal perimeter or it's easy to calculate with the, using the internal perimeter so now we do the opposite of this one instead of saying deduct 920 we're now saying what 8 920 so it's 14,160 plus 120 sorry plus 920 we get what we get 15,008 well so let me show you the uh, how it's put in the takeoff so it's just simple as this when on your waist column 
as you remember this is a description column which is uh, imaginary divided uh, into description and phrased column so uh, and then uh, central and get um, is is passed to 5000 by 2 add 3000 by 2 you get 16000 right and then deduct 4 by 2 by half by 2 that which is 920 and then if you deduct that uh, you get 1580 so this is how it's done in the take off on the last corner side so this form can be changed in, in the case if you the building we are calculating the get form is five, six, seven, and three, or how many, or whatever the number it is. Now you can put the number of corners there, and then here two thirty. If it's one hundred five, two thirty, two forty five, two thirty five, uh, depending on the size of the one, you put the size of the one, so as to get the center line get. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.